Greetings YouTube. You know, I make videos every single time there is an offer in the game. I don't care if it's a cash-based offer. I don't care if it's a unit-based offer. And even sometimes if it's a little bit of both, like the first time the Five Star Vision was introduced and we had a cash offer that led to a unit-based offer. But I say this to say that I give a grade. And just like sometimes when I give my students grades, there is a rebuttal and I can give something an A, and someone will say, you're an idiot, that's an F. And I can give something an F, and someone can comment and say, you're an idiot, it's an A. Such was the case today, because the legendary bloodletting bundles, I still think, are one of the worst gambles you have seen in the game, especially since Kabam decided after nerfing the blood champions for a season that they would turn right around and force every person to have to get champions that were essentially way worse than they were a month ago. So, not ideal at all. And yet, there was this guy, BVM, which you can see on screen, that decided that at level 53, he had nothing to lose. He was going to put $120 into the hope that he would get at least one five-star champion from the three legendary bloodletting bundles, which I remind you, the drop rate is only 20%. So if you buy five of these, you should get one. So three doesn't guarantee you a five-star. And I have heard from some people who were brave enough to tell me that, Prof, I should have listened to you. I'm an idiot. I got three four-stars, including two Black Panther Civil Wars for $120. But this guy, no, he did not do that. In fact, his luck was so screw you Prof Hoff level astounding that I had to make this video. So, as you can see, there are three mystery boxes. He did open all three crystals. And I want to reveal these in order, as always, as I honor this man's luck slash the ability to say screw you Prof Hoff. I know more than you, and in this case, you did. All right, so we're going to reveal the uh, top right Super Mario question mark box first, and without further ado, it is a five-star Yandu, one of my favorite champions in the game, still a fantastic defender. Uh, sir, I would highly recommend you rank this guy up and place him on defense and everything else, but he is also incredible for offense. He's one of the answers to Emma Frost. His special one for both bleed damage and armor break, even if you are bleed immune, is incredible. And I love Yandu. I love this champion. I think as an attacker, he's super fun. And as a defender, he still wrecks people. I see him all the time on Alliance War defense as a mini boss, believe it or not. So he already won the RNG. Instead of one out of five five stars, he got one out of three five stars at least, but you see there are still two question mark boxes. So let's go to the second one now. The question mark box to the left of the five star Yandu is, can you believe it? Five star freaking blade. His first ever five star blade came from this crystal. Two for two in five stars, one of which being a really underrated uh, upper tier champ in Yandu, and then someone that I still consider to be the best champ in the game, at least for me, Five Star Blade. And many will say, no, it's Corvus or it's uh, Void or even Medusa. I don't care. I'm going to say Blade with the regen still holds the best value in my mind. I still say take up Blade to 565 as soon as you get him. So you can see that this guy right now at level 53, his top champion right now is actually his, uh, his little symbiote. But uh, I'm hoping that he can take up this blade, even unawakened, to rank 5 when he gets the materials and hopefully gets to level 60. Man, if I had a blade at level 53 when I was playing the game, I would have been so much better off. But we can't end this video yet because there's one more question mark box. He is 2 for 2 in 5 stars from this legendary bloodletting bundle. There's no way, right, that he can go three for three. And he said he did have a couple of five stars already. And you'll see that this is not a new champion. It's a dupe. So who could he have duped in his inventory that would have gotten him the ultimate broke Prof Hoff F you. This luck is way better. And if I listened to your terrible advice, I never would have improved my roster like I did today. 
And as you can guess it, maybe we're going to reveal it now. He got two five-star blades from this. I'm broken. I'm just staring at this picture and I can't believe it. The odds of that have to be one and you should win the lottery. I want to say this time and time again for the haters out there that comment on these videos and they say, Prof, I hate that you do these videos honoring other people's luck because it's giving people the uh, idea that they can get the same kind of luck and they can't. I want to say right now, this is not normal. This is crazy lucky. Three five stars from these and two out of three of them as Blade. If you go for this, you're probably going to be much closer to the guy that got two four-star Black Panther Civil Wars. This is not normal, but that's why I'm doing this video because I want to honor this guy because this picture is going to be lost in the abyss forever if I don't give him the attention that he deserves. And I love honoring people's luck in this game and giving you your due. Because let me tell you, BVM, you're never going to have this kind of luck again. You'll be playing this game for 20 more years, and I guarantee you, you will not have this level of break the RNG luck. In fact, I might just entitle uh, this video, BVM broke the RNG today because that is what you did, sir. You took something that's a 20% chance and you got 100% five stars and you got the two out of three of the best five stars you can ever pull as well. So hats off to you, sir. Please wish him a congratulations in the comments below. Thanks for sending this my way and allowing me to make this video honoring you. I always love serving the community by giving you a shout out in the best way possible, but making a video, revealing your champs, and then being... Most importantly, jealous as hell. Have a great rest of your day, YouTube. Thanks for watching.